It is very delightful, particularly at this time, to witness yet another event which further symbolizes a giant stride in advancing our police reform and re-equipment agenda. We are running a democratic system which is guided by the rule of law and the police worldwide is recognized as the most symbolic agency with the democratic governance and rule of law process. Therefore, any nation that is desirous of defining her democratic credentials and advancing the cause of rule of law must prioritize the efficiency of her police institution. It is in cognizance of this that I have remained firmly committed to the reform agenda of our police all through. The overriding goal is to modernize, reform and restore the dwindling primacy of our police within the internal security architecture of the country. Our nation's critical justice delivery system and democratic process. I'm glad to know that successive force leaderships, particularly under IGP Usman Al Ali Baba, have been advancing this vision. This is evidenced not only by today's event, but by similar landmark activities of the current police leadership over time, including the recent commissioning of an ultra-modern police headquarters and well-equipped hospital in your best state. <laughs> My attention has also been drawn to the model police station that are being built across the country as part of the modernization drive of the force by the Inspector General of Police. I note the remarks of the Inspector General of Police that the acquisition of the assets being commissioned today was in furtherance to the broad plans of adequately and appropriately equipping the Nigerian police towards guaranteeing a stable internal security order and embracing peaceful, secure, and credible 2023 general elections. My pledge to bequeath to the nation a democratic culture in which the police will not only be apolitical and impartial during the 2023 general election, but in which the process will be peaceful and secure and the outcome truly reflective of the free will of the students. This vision can best be achieved through an efficient police force, and I am delighted that the force leadership is advancing my vision in this regard. <laughs> Looking back at what I inherited as a police force, and where we are almost eight years into this administration, I can proudly say that I have significantly attained my repositioning plan for the Nigeria Police Force, and it is my expectation that subsequent national leadership in the country will sustain this initiative. <laughs> On this note, I commend the Inspector General of Police and the Nigerian Police Force for this great achievement and I encourage you to sustain your zeal for service to the nation. You should, however, be reminded of my high expectations of your leadership, particularly in relation to the provision of requisite police security that will engender not only just a stable security space ahead of the general election, but to guarantee the credibility of the exercise. In this task, I call on the Inspector General of Police and the, indeed all law enforcement agencies that will be complementing 
the police in the election security process to note that the eyes of the nation and the global community will be on you all. Having been fully briefed by the Inspector General of Police of his detailed operation order and action plan for 2023 general elections during the Council of State meeting that was held on Friday, 10th February 2023, I have no doubt of the high level of preparedness of the Nigeria police for the exercise. I trust also that in line with your service oath and statutory obligation to our beloved country, you will not disappoint us all as you put to effect your election security governance operational plans. On my part, I renew the assurances of my firm trust in your leadership and unwavering support for the police. It is indeed in demonstration of this that I recently approved the release of requisite funds to the Nigerian Police Force towards the continuation of next phase in the annual recruitment exercise of 10,000 constables <laughs> in line with excellent presidential approval. To this end, I now move to commission the critical operational assets for effective use by the Nigeria Police Force. Thank you all for your attention and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.